Hi guys, I'm doing a real short test. I, I think I'll do two videos on this. On the PM940 closed loop steppers. What I've done is I've replaced my, I have 900 ounce steppers on the X and Y and I have a 1200 ounce on the Z and they've all worked fairly well. I don't really have a lot of complaints but everybody basically wants uh, the closed loop steppers or the servos for the size machine so that's what we're going to do. Now the question has always been what size for the PM940 and everybody buys the big ones. So um, what I've done is I pit the 640 ounce which is also known as the 4.5 newton meter closed loop stepper and it's running at 60 volts AC because they're AC drivers and it's the exact same dimensions size wise as a 900 ounce except for it's a 640 ounce so that's it I have it on the X um, I have another one for the Y but the purpose here was to uh, just to see how it works and I've already tested it a little bit so we're already set now I normally run the tables on these at uh, around 100 inches a minute so I got it set right now for 150 and we're gonna run it back and forth So that's working fine. I'm going to go ahead and do 200 now. Actually, I'm going to do 250. Now, I did 300 earlier and I didn't really like the 300 so much. So this is now 250 inches a minute. Ooh. See, now you hear the screeching? I heard a little bit of howl. Now it didn't fault. The uh, closed loop steppers allow the motor to go about three quarters of a turn off of center before they fault. So this one did not fault even though you heard, I, when you hear that howling noise that means that the stepper is losing steps but it got back on track which is actually a nice thing. So for the 640 ounce, if you're running, and this might apply to the larger ones, but the larger ones will make more power um, just because they're bigger. Um, at 60 volts, I would not run 250 inches for rapids. And really, on these machines, 100 inch rapids is fine, um, 150, if you're trying to get you know uh, things done a little better. And that's what I'm going to set mine for. I'm going to change it right here. And so we're back to 150. Okay. So the uh, the 640 has plenty of power, which I knew it would be, and I'll do some cutting with it um, on this machine. I don't have my flood cooling working right now because that tray leaks and the water gets underneath the tray and makes my table rust, which is really sad. I don't want my table to rust. Um, so I got a new table that I'm working on and then I'll go back to full flood and I'll use it more than I do. I mean, I use it now. I got, you know, usual chip buildup. I use it for individual parts that I can hand spray normally with coolant right now. And then uh, once I get it back to full flood, then I'll be pitting bigger parts in there like I normally do. But like I said, this tray is leaking, so I'm not going to do that much. But I really, uh, I'm happy with the uh, results of this 640. And uh, that's it for now, guys. Thank you.